By the way, St. Patrick's Day kicking off a parade season here in the Capital Region. There's nothing more iconic than a marching band to make the day really shine. News 10's Stephanie Rivas has the story and legacy behind the Yankee Doodle Band. They are the soundtrack of a patriotic celebration. And their drum corps has been keeping time for nearly 100 years. When I started back in 1960 pulling the drum, I had so much of the veterans, you know, talking to me that it just made me feel just so great to be part of it. Their legacy started at the American Legion Post 471 in Rensselaer in 1927. They asked me if I'd try out, and after the first parade, I was hooked on it. The commander of the post is Rip Haran, a Navy veteran who plays the crash cymbals. <laughs> Every Thursday night, they have some of those laughs and rehearse. You don't have to be part of the Legion to be part of the band. They say the doors are open for new members, musicians of all ages and experience level. So my very first parade, I hold the drum, which is how most uh, kids in the band start, kind of like a rite of passage. It is the largest bass drum in any parade that we've ever seen. I actually have a special cart for it, so it requires a drum puller. <laughs> Cherish Holmes started at just 14 years old. Now her nieces have joined the band too, pulling that bass drum and playing the clarinet. We have a lot of families in the band that are multiple generations. I would say at any one time, there could be three generations marching in the parade together. For them, it's all about celebrating veterans and a sense of community. So they too, you know, would bring out to their sons and later on daughters what it meant, you know, and bring it out to the community as, I'd say maybe ambassadors. Rip is hoping they can renovate the building before their 100 year anniversary. Reporting in Rensselaer, I'm Stephanie Rivas, News 10 ABC.